Some people think visualization is nothing but a crock, but is it? Hi, I'm Stacey Storino from Woman 101. Is visualization a technique that can help you dial up your luck, or is it just super hippy, dippy, trippy fluff? Visualization is defined as the formation of mental visual images. Sounds simple enough, but how does this simplistic technique, when used properly, actually work to make us luckier? Try to conjure up an image of something that, if luck were on your side, you could achieve. In fact, while using your imagination, try using all five senses. What does your desired item or circumstance look like, feel like, sound like, smell like, taste like? Don't think taste fits into what you're visualizing? How about throwing in a celebratory drink to the mix of what you're imagining? You know, a champagne toast or something. Experts say that when you go about creative visualization like this, you're enlisting the assistance of your subconscious mind. It'll absorb your sensory input, process it, and then reflect back the information and inspiration necessary for you to make the connections between your current fantasy and, if you take the proper steps, your future reality. Whether some sort of magnetic force or the law of attraction comes into play when you do this is debatable. What is not debatable is that your brain will, sooner or later, crack the code of whatever you present it as long as you're consistent and persistent with your visualization efforts. Why? A part of your brain is known as the reticular activating system. It's the mechanism through which relevant information is brought to your brain's attention. It takes instructions from your conscious mind and filters them to your subconscious mind, where some serious background data processing work occurs. Your conscious mind can't do all of that heavy lifting because it's too busy handling all of the other data it's confronted with while you go about the business of daily living. So you can use your subconscious mind to program what the subconscious mind or the conscious mind focuses on. But beware, just as you can program the subconscious mind to focus on manifesting positive outcomes, you can marinate your brain in misery to the point where you're programming it both actively and passively to crank out negative outcomes. Importantly, the reticular activating system doesn't specifically distinguish between actual reality and manufactured reality. Therefore, your visualizations and goals can program your brain to believe only positive things or negative ones. It's all up to you. It seems that luck really is believing that you're lucky. Your life really is what you make of it, and what you make of it depends on what you think about it and visualize about it. Now, I'd really love to know what your thoughts are about optimism and luck, so go ahead and comment down below. Smash that like button, share this video, subscribe to this channel for free life coaching. We're coming out with cool new videos that'll change the way you live your life. You're a chick with a heart of gold. It's Woman 101's mission to help keep that heart happy, healthy, smart, and strong. Woman 101, be wise with your heart.